Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Welcome back for another cleaning and undecorate video. Today I'm taking down what's left of Christmas decor. So if you're packing away Christmas decor or just need some motivation, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy it and give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you are new and let's jump right in. Between us. How many of you have your decorations still up? So once I'm done with this room, I will only have the outdoor decor left. Most of my neighborhood still has their decor up, I think because it's just been too cold to go outside and take it down. I probably should just bundle up and quickly throw it inside, but we need to put up a ladder to do it. And because it's snowy and icy outside, I've been delaying it. It's funny because when we put up the decor, it was gorgeous outside. It was like the perfect day. And it's crazy to think about how much seasons change our motivation to do things, don't you think? I'm so motivated when it's warmer and sunny outside I feel like I can take on the world and when it's cold and cloudy I feel like hibernating or doing all the cozy things inside sometimes it's good to go with the flow but it can be a problem for me pretty quickly I found that if I go to bed with a plan for the next day and start the day with energy sometimes a great playlist or watching other motivating videos it can help let us know in the comments below how you stay motivated and stay on track with your to-do list especially when it's cold outside and all you want to do is stay home and be cozy Focus, I can't forget I've been thinking too much lately I just need to clear my I just need to clear my head I just need to clear my head I just need to clear my head The first thing I wanted to do was take down this cute little Christmas tree. I got it this year from at home. It's a 7.5 foot Christmas tree and it's the first slim tree I've ever had. All I did was put all of the decor for that tree in this bin in case I wanted to do the same style, the same colors and everything next year. And I'm packing it away in this really large Christmas tree bag. And I know it looks huge, but I have a tree downstairs in my basement storage. We didn't put it up this year, but it's our older Christmas tree and I'm planning on putting that tree in that bag when we organize our storage room. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight When I went to put away all of the serving dishes and utensils that I used over holiday season, I realized that my sideboard was so unorganized and had things I just didn't use anymore. I try to keep all things, even seasonal items in here. I keep larger serving dishes, my chargers, candlesticks, and linen napkins in here. I keep all of it in case I want to reuse the golds and silvers and creams for other tablescapes or if we have family or friends over for dinner and a more formal table setting. I mentioned in my closet declutter video last week that I have so much stuff from what feels like ages ago when my life was full of formal dinners and parties and since I just don't have that lifestyle anymore, I've been really trying to declutter what I don't use. It's hard though, so much of my life was wrapped around stuff and I've been working on changing that in the way I think. Also some of the items I have were gifted by friends and family. Some are really expensive and I want to keep the really nice items because even though decluttering is important, I know that well-made items last a long time and can be reused a lot.
China cabinet which is full I keep all the cake stands anything crystal dishes candles china teacups and glasses and here I just wanted to declutter and find a way to store things so it makes sense you'll see me moving a lot of things around because what I wanted was to be able to open a section and know what I'll find in it so if I wanted a cake stand I wanted to know to go to the middle cabinet my battery candles i know to open the far cabinet my mom and dad actually sent me this furniture set when they got a new one for their home and it's the same set that i remember having in my parents home since i was really young and there are so many beautiful memories around this dining table so it meant a lot to me to have it and my mom was so careful with it that it hardly has any damage on it at all you told me more than once to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times, but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance I really, really wanted to take a second to show you the cutest little table or countertop vacuum I found on Amazon. I think I read about it in a BuzzFeed article or something, but it's battery operated and perfect to vacuum off leftover Christmas glitter, dust, leftover crafting mess, crumbs, really anything you want to clean off and not throw on the ground. I loved using this actually around my decor to quickly dust off before wiping down the table. My husband used it in his dashboard in the car and picked up all the dust in there. My girls used it on their desks in their rooms. I used it to vacuum flour that was on my island in the kitchen after baking just to make it easier to wipe down. It takes two AA batteries and you open it and dump it into the garbage when you are done. It's the most handy little thing and it's so cheap that I just had to show you because I think you will love it. I'll link it in my description box for you. I just know you'll find it useful for all these little messes. If you put up Christmas decor, you know about the Christmas glitter and I promise you this is perfect for that kind of mess. And now after wiping everything down and dusting and organizing, I'm just going to give this room a really good vacuum. It was so satisfying to hear how much was being sucked up into the vacuum. Is anyone else like me and they find vacuuming so satisfying? Dunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. 
going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing We're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Nah, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch Kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid Thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes that I got the other day. It meant so much to me and you all brightened up my day so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us